If you ever feel like you just can't afford to go backpacking, this list is for you. This is almost everything you need to go backpacking and everything I'm talking about today is name brand, good quality, and $200 or less. Now, before we get into it, I wanna talk a little bit about my thinking behind this list. I wanted everything on this list to be from major name brand companies. No Amazon exclusive companies or brands that you might think are really good gear but you never really heard of them before. Brands that even without my or anyone else's recommendation, you probably already trust. And I wanted it to be affordable, so I set the max price for any one piece of gear at $200. Now. Some pieces of gear, that's easier than others. Obviously, tents and backpacks, that's much bigger challenge than a cook set or a stove. But I still think that I found some really decent options for you, like my favorite sleeping pad, the insulated Nemo Tensor. Even though this pad is under $200, it's not a budget pad. It's one of the best sleeping pads on the market. It's high quality, super comfortable, warm, and only $190. The thing that I really like about this pad is that it's three inches thick and 25 inches wide. You know how I like those wide pads. And it weighs in at a relatively modest 22 ounces, which for me is well worth the comfort that it provides. But the reason that this is my go-to pad is because it's a great three season rating with a 4.2 R value. That means this pad will perform well at all but the coldest temperatures. And it's hard to find a pad that is this comfortable, this warm without weighing a whole lot more. But this is one of those items that it's not really that hard to get it under $200. Most sleeping pads are under $200. And I realize that you might still wanna save some money, which with a sleeping pad, is kind of hard to do because the main thing you're paying for here is warmth. But if you don't need the warmth of the tensor, you can get the Climate Static V for only $65. It's still a really comfortable and light pad, but it is nowhere near as warm with an ASTM R value of just 1.3 compared to the 4.2 of the tensor. Use it for summer backpacking and you'll be fine. Anything else, buy the tensor. You won't regret it. One of the best budget sleeping bags on the market is the Kelty Cosmic 20 down bag. I used the Cosmic 20 for over a decade because it's well made, it's warm, and it's affordable at $170. The thing that I really like about this bag is that even though it's affordable, it's still a down bag. Down has the lightest warmth to weight ratio in existence. Companies have been trying to duplicate its magic-like properties for years and simply can't create an insulation that is warmer or lighter. And because down is so amazing, it it typically isn't cheap. So for a great bag like this for less than $200 is really kind of hard to beat. Now, because this is a budget bag, this is only 550 fill power down, which is slightly heavier, but it's still good. This bag weighs in at two pounds, 10 ounces, and packs down incredibly small. To get anything lighter, you're going to have to pay a whole lot more. Now again, you won't have any trouble staying under $200 with a stove and a cook set. For that price, you can buy one of these really high-end integrated systems like the MSR Wind Burner. This thing is completely self-contained with a stove, a pot, a measuring cup, a windscreen. It boils water fast and packs down into itself. And even though it's under $200 mark at just $170, that's... <laughs> still a lot of money to pay for a stove. What I have used for years is something more like the MSR Pocket Rocket. I recently upgraded from my original Pocket Rocket to the Pocket Rocket Deluxe that has its own built-in igniter. So even if I lose my lighter, I still have a really good chance of getting this thing lit. The Pocket Rocket Deluxe is only $50. It weighs less than three ounces and it has a built-in regulator that will really help as the temperatures start to get cold. Pair that with a lightweight Tox Titanium Pot for only $36 and you have the same cook set that I use for less than hundred bucks. Okay, I gotta be honest with you, this isn't really a list of gear under $200. It's actually a list under $180 because if you buy this gear at Moose Jaw and use the code MLOMJ, you get 10% off almost anything that Moose Jaw sells. You can even get 5% off things that are already on sale. Moose Jaw has become a regular sponsor of this channel, so if you buy through them using the links in the description as well as the discount code MLOMJ, that stands for My Life Outdoors and Moose Jaw, you're not only going to get some awesome gear at a great price, but you're going to be supporting me while you do it. Plus, Moose Jaw is just fun. They have really awesome giveaways every Friday on social media, not to mention one of the biggest selections of gear on the internet. Check them out at moosejaw.com and don't forget to use the exclusive discount code MLOMJ. Some exclusions do apply. Now, probably the best $200 you can spend is on an emergency satellite communicator. I am a Zolio ambassador and I cannot recommend Zolio enough. This 
This will not only let you text your family and friends no matter where you are, with or without cell phone service, but if you get in trouble, you can call for help with the SOS button. Zolio is one of the only emergency satellite communicators that costs less than $200. Now, of course, that is without the required service, but even so, I think Zolio is well worth the money you spend on the service. Text your friends, call for help, send your location, and even check the weather far from cell and internet service. Zolio is some of the best money you will spend to be outdoors, I guarantee it. Speaking of well-spent money, I couldn't make a list like this without talking about my favorite piece of gear, my Helinox Chair Zero. If you don't know by now, this is one of the more controversial items on a backpacking list because unlike a lot of items in this video, it's not technically needed to go backpacking, but it is one of the things that I think most backpackers secretly want. As I've mentioned before, even people who are tough guys and I'll just sit on the ground, the moment that you leave your chair open, guess who's not sitting on the ground anymore? It's a comfort item that I never go without. So much so that I started my hashtag take a seat campaign because I firmly believe we will all just be a little happier if we all just take a seat. If you're interested, you can buy my own take a seat shirts on my website, mylifeoutdoors.com store or at the link below this video. And just like everything else, these shirts are less than $200. Okay, we can't go backpacking without a good backpack, and this is one of those things that's kind of hard to find for under $200. The pack that I really wanted to recommend for this video was the Granite Gear Crown 2 60 liter pack, but I couldn't get my hands on it for the video. There are a lot of people who swear by the Crown 2 as a great, lightweight, well-built, and comfortable pack. So much so, I really wanted to try one out for myself. So, if you're watching this Granite Gear, hit me up. The Crown 2 is right at our $200 mark, but since I couldn't get one to try out, I opted for the Kelty Asher 55. This is a really good pack at a really good price, $140. You get a well-made traditional style pack that weighs just over three pounds. Kelty has been making packs for years and this budget option makes a good starter pack that will help you or a loved one get out on the trail while saving a bunch of money. Now, unless you want to sleep out in the elements, you're going to need a tent. and I really struggled on this one too, even more so than the pack, because if you watch this channel, then you know that two of my biggest criticisms on tents is the weight and the floor width. But to stay on that $200 mark, I had to compromise on both. So I went with the Big Agnes C-Bar two-person tent, and I prioritized weight as much as I could because I know that most people are going to use this like a one-person tent, and it's got plenty of room for one person, even with a 25-inch wide pad, and then you still have plenty of room for your gear. And if you really needed to, you can still put two people in this tent, but you're gonna have to use either mummy pads or 20-inch wide pads to make that work, which is not my favorite, but it's exactly what I did for years with a tent very similar to this. So I know that this will work well for you. My biggest complaint is that at this price point, it really is hard to get under four pounds. And this tent is no exception. It weighs four pounds even, which isn't bad if you're taking two people and you can split the weight, which again, two people isn't ideal. But the reality is if you want a lighter name brand tent, you're going to have to spend some more money. Okay, so I think that's just about everything, but go ahead and do me a favor. If you choose to buy any of this gear, please do so through the links in the description. I'll earn a small commission at no additional cost to you, and you'll be supporting this channel. Also, check out Moose Jaw. Thank you, Moose Jaw, for sponsoring this video. Remember to use MLOMJ for 10% off. Some exclusions do apply. Like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.